Hi, this is Chef Paul. Today we're going to make naan bread. All right, so we're going to uh, start with making a dough. It's the same process, all the different doughs we made. Uh, I want to talk again. It's that straight dough mixing method. So what is that? Well, we're going to start with, you start with your water or your liquid, right? And we're going to go ahead and add yeast to it, right? I have little packages of yeast. Uh, so we're going to take one package of yeast and we're going to put it inside. Put one little package of yeast in there. Let's get that all inside. All right, then we're gonna add sugar. Remember, we gotta feed the yeast, so we're gonna put our sugar in there. Add some sugar, all right? Then we're just gonna let it, uh, we're gonna mix it for a little bit. You can use whatever you got. Um, you don't have to mix it much, just kind of mix it together. And that's it, just to get the sugar in there, that's it. Now I'm gonna let it set for about five to 10 minutes, and then we're gonna go to the next step. All right. You can see our yeast is completely, it's done its thing. Looks, looks frothy, okay? So the next step is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna add our, uh, we're gonna add our fat. So for this, we're gonna go ahead and add garlic butter, which I've, I've made here. So I'm gonna put a tablespoon of garlic butter inside, just like that. So we're gonna put one tablespoon of garlic butter, got fresh garlic in there, and basically it's just melted garlic with butter. Then this particular one is we're gonna be adding yogurt to it. So we're gonna add yogurt. Go ahead and put the yogurt inside. So just, all right, put that in there. And then after that, we're gonna add our, our flour goes inside. So we got our flour, that's all in there. And the last thing is always the salt. And always the salt, salt kills the yeast, goes in last. Put some salt in there, boom. Now we're gonna go ahead and mix it. So I'm gonna go ahead and mix this up. And I may have to adjust it if it's a, uh, if it's dry, I'll add a little bit more water to it. If it's wet, looks like we're gonna have to add some water. So I'm gonna go ahead, get it mixed here, and I'm gonna, I can already tell. So I'm gonna go ahead and adjust it. Just gonna add some water. I'm gonna go ahead and pour some water in here. I'm gonna mix it in until we get that where I can get it out. And I'm gonna use my hands in a minute because remember when you're kneading, you're gonna need to use your hands. Maybe like that, get it all here. I can see I'm gonna add a little bit more. Okay, so now what I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and use my hands now. Start kneading this in the bowl like we've done all the other doughs. And then I'm gonna knead it for five minutes. So just kind of get it to come together. Just kind of get it to come together here. Get it kneading. Get everything off the bowl side. And then I'm gonna get it. Once I get it all off the bowl, and I'm gonna get it on the board on the table here, I'm just gonna knead it for five minutes. We've done this with many doughs. You see a lot of similarities with the method of making it. They're kind of all the same. Ingredients are a little different. But the method of making it, especially when you do that straight dough mixing method, are identical. So just take it like this. This one's a little unique. It's got garlic butter and it has uh, yogurt in it. So it's going to give it a little different flavor than some of the other breads. And then we cook it on that, that, that cast iron skillet to make that flat bread. So that uh, looks like I got most of the stuff out. So I'm going to go ahead and wash my hands here and then I'm going to knead it on the, on the table in about three minutes. All right, you can see it's been about three minutes. I've been kneading it, so it, you know, it, it's starting to get smooth. We're not there yet, but it's getting there. It's that kneading process, just like all the other doughs we've done. So I'm gonna go another two, three minutes and we'll check on it. All right, so it's been five minutes or so. You, it, it's nice and smooth now, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna make it, you, like we do all the other ones, you kinda just roll it into a nice ball and you gotta proof it, right? And then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna cut this in six, six or eight, and, um, Brush it with a little bit of butter. I'll put, I have some garlic butter here because we got garlic butter in there. You don't, you know, if you, if you didn't make the garlic butter, you don't have to use garlic butter. You could just use regular butter. Uh, and if you didn't have any, you can just use regular oil too. But I, since I have the garlic butter and there's garlic butter inside of it, we'll go ahead and do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and proof this for about an hour, an hour and a half. Okay, so our naan bread is, is doubled in size, so it's proofed now. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take it out, let it set. A little bit of flour so it's just so it doesn't stick you don't need a lot and then what we're gonna do just so it doesn't stick we're gonna take this and and we're gonna cut this in six this should make six you just make a little rectangle stretch it out doesn't have to be perfect okay there we go so I'm gonna cut it like in three go one two three two one two three there we go is that one one two three wait up oh, here we go and then you cut them in half oh i made oh i made them too small that's right we're gonna roll them i'm gonna turn this into naan 
All right, so you can see I'm rolling these out. You're, uh, you're supposed, they were supposed to be six. I ended up with eight. So some of these are gonna be too small. It really doesn't matter. You can make it any size you want, actually. They're just gonna be, you know, it's just the bread. I'm gonna show you how we're gonna, you basically turn them in, you, know, you make your little balls, and then we're going to uh, turn it in and on. So I'll finish these and I'll show you how you cook them. All right, so once you get the non all ball, they don't have to be perfect. We're gonna roll them out. Now we're gonna put some plastic wrap on it and we're just gonna let it set. So we're gonna let this set for another 15 or 20 minutes and then we're gonna let the, they'll rise again. I'm gonna roll them and we're gonna turn it into, uh, into naan. All right, so we're gonna roll out this naan. Uh, remember, these are a little small. They're supposed to be done in six and they were ended up cut in an eight. So they're gonna be a little smaller, but yeah, it still work. It's still bread. Basically, it's an oval. So you don't even make them round. You just kind of get them flat. Then you're gonna take a rolling pin and you're just gonna kind of roll them. Roll them out, push them out, push them out, you know? Kind of get it to go a little bit, keep them oval. There we go. And they don't have to be perfect at all. There we go. Coming out there. When, when, when bread starts to stick or the dough sticks, that means you need flour. You gotta set a little flour to the bottom. Roll them out. All right. Then you're gonna get that and you gotta have a pan. We gotta get our pan really hot. So I have a, a cast iron pan already going right now. It's gotta get really, really hot. And then we're gonna cook this. So I'm gonna go, I don't have enough flour here. Whoa. All right, now we're gonna get this to go. There we go, now it's going. You wanna get it thin. There we go. All right, I set it down. So I'm gonna continue doing these and I'm gonna show you how to cook them. All right, so I rolled out the naan. You can see these are, the, the recipe was supposed to be six. I made them an eight, so they're a little bit smaller, but it's no big deal. Still naan bread. So they're rolled out about an eighth of an inch. Then we're gonna put them in a, in, in a cast iron pan. So I'm gonna grab one here. You take it over here and it's gotta be smoking hot. You see that's smoking hot. I'm gonna go ahead and set that in there. Make sure it's nice and hot. We're just gonna let it go. Now it'll take a few minutes. What you're looking for is we should start to see bubbles. You want to wait for it. When it gets hot, we should start to see bubbles. It takes a few minutes. Um, and we're going to wait. Oh, they're starting to get there. Starting to get there. Oh, there we go. We're starting to see a bubble there. That's what we're looking for. That, those bubbles are starting to form. It's real hot. How are we doing? Oh, yeah, we're getting there. Yeah, see? There you go. That's what you're looking for. See the bubbles? that are, They're starting to, uh, you're getting like blisters on that from the heat. That's what you want. They're getting They're going to give it another minute here. It's, you know, it takes, ah, I don't know, maybe three minutes to make one. It's going, that's what you're looking for, those nice blisters. I'm going to take it here. We're going to flip it. Oh, there we go. That looks good. I'll let it go. I'm going to let this go for another minute. This whole process, I don't know, two minutes, three minutes. You get that nice uh, flat style there. You're trying to, you're, we're try these are done in a tandoori oven, remember, which is a round cylinder. They're actually cooked on the wall, extreme heat. Yeah, we're just about there. So you take it out, get that nice, nice blisters there. And look at that, that's beautiful naan. All right, so once you get them all done, you see you got that perfect uh, naan. It's nice, it's brown, it's nice frat bread. You got them all brown on the side. I, I have some of the garlic butter, and I put garlic butter in them when I cook them as well. You can lightly brush them, so you don't have to put a lot on, just a, a little bit of garlic butter. I'm gonna brush a little butter on them. You don't have to, just gives them a little bit of flavor, that extra flavor you're gonna get. And again, these are made a little bit smaller, but yeah, it doesn't matter. You can make them any size you want. Get them all brushed like that with garlic butter. Then you can put a little bit of, uh, you can put a little bit of herbs on them here. I got a little bit of cilantro. And we'll put a little bit of chives on them. All right, come on, nice chive. Oh, those are good. Get that on there. Get that, and that. Oh, a little bit more of the garlic butter. Kind of dollop it. Get that nice garlic butter. All right, there you go. So there you go. So that's a, um, you got garlic naan.